No, together. What together? The test and the driving, but you never did. Okay, that's fine. What are you gonna do? Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. What are you gonna do now? Uh, Ma'am, we need to take this vehicle in and we need to check all these people's uh, documentation yeah. if they're legal in South Africa. Yeah. So, and we have, we are Tetango, we are, we are Sivan Gessing Gess. Huh? Where is this license? Where is this license? Where is this license? Do you still have his license? No. Yeah. Okay, what's going to happen now, ma'am? You say the car is on your name. Okay. We need to verify your documentation if you're all legal in South Africa. So we're going to take you to SAPS here at Lang Laughter, where we're going to verify everything. Okay. You need to phone people to bring your documentation to see, to show to us and prove to us that you're legally in South Africa. Which one? Which one? What? How did you come to South Africa? These people. Passport. Has he got a passport? Passport. Good idea. Where, where did he get the ID from? I don't know. You don't know? You but he's got a South African ID. It's getting worse, guys. Where did you get the ID? You know, I don't understand one thing. These people can't speak English and they can't speak any... Whoa, 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 whoa. They can't speak English. They can't speak any of other uh, of our other languages. But they're in possession of a driver's license of our country. They're in possession of documents. How did they apply for these things? The Chinese made it. They paid money. The Chinese made it. Yeah. Huh? Where did they make it? Do you have a friend that? Yeah. 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 When did you, this gentleman came to South Africa? Um, Ask him. Um, this is the home of the 37 Chinese nationals who were on Friday charged with possession of suspected stolen items at Buganda Road Court. This follows an ongoing police probe that unveiled the racket after concerns by some neighbors. The raid showed motherboards of used phones and laptops reportedly stolen in Uganda, then repackaged and exported to China. And these motherboards uh, for the phones we suspect were snatched from Ugandans. There were also wildlife exhibits like tortoises, pangolin scales and fish maw also recovered from this house. This is not a phone processing plant, but a makeshift control room with over 2,000 phones, each connected with a Ugandan SIM card in the names of certain individuals. Several Airtel and MTN new lines are visible. So far, police investigations show that these are used for financial crime, especially on the WeChat social media. We note that these phones were connected to an online platform called WeChat. This is basically a Chinese-owned platform and it is used for messaging and financial transactions. Now, the preliminary investigations we've had indicated that there were so many financial transactions done on that WeChat. And uh, basically the targets were Chinese. Whether there are some other transactions that have been done that compromise our financial institutions and even the security generally. Uh, there is also something uh, we have also noticed that all these telephones which are up are bearing the Ugandan telephone lines of Airtel majorly with over 1,895 SIM cards and also MTN of around 223. Well, uh, this is one of the rooms that uh, these Chinese have actually been uh, sleeping in, as you can see, uh, the bed sheets and the duvets. But again, according to police, uh, they picked interest in another potential crime, that is smuggling, because in this room we have boxes and boxes of cigarettes, and uh, if I can read here, it's uh, set walls. And according to police, they're investigating how these boxes of cigarettes got into the country, and still, they're yet to find out if it's actually one of the types that is allowed to enter the country. According to police, some of these suspects were also transacting business without work permits, as many entered the country using visitors' visa. So those are the pictures that you see. These uh, Chinese that had escaped from the Karajin are being taken to uh, some apartment on Chambago Road, together with um, the house helps that have been uh, taking care of them.
the number has steadily increased now to over 50 people and they're all uh, boarding the bus uh, aided by um, the DVC police that is Afande Kasijere and a team of uh, medics from the Ministry of Health. So those are the pictures that you see. But then I see it's not only Chinese that are here. We also have some people from Ethiopia. There are quite a big number of people. The lady who uh, aided their escape from the quarantine center is also going along with them and the husband.